dust everywhere. What's going on guys? I'm Jody. This is Inspire Woodcraft and today we're talking transition. Now I say guys because according to my YouTube analytics of my viewers, 92% of you are male and 8.1 of you are female. So most of you are male and some of you are confused because we're over 100%. Ladies, seriously, start watching videos. All right, so in all truthfulness, this video is all about transitions. I work on iMovie. I haven't quite graduated to Premiere Pro or anything like that yet, and I'm stuck with those limitations. So since the kids are off for the holiday season, we decided to come out and we decided to make a video all about transitions. I'm gonna play a short film that we did about cleaning the shop. And in this cleaning the shop, we got together and we bring brainstormed how we could make in-camera transitions to pan from scene to scene while still telling a story and building characters that move from scene to scene as much as we can. It was a super fun experiment, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show the film, and if nobody ever sees this, that's okay, because I'll be able to look back in a year when we actually have our stuff together, and we can look back and say like, oh, this is where we were at this point and here's where we are now. So without further ado, I'm gonna pay that clip, and then I'm gonna go through, and I'm gonna kinda of grade it a little bit. I won't take too much of your time, I promise, so here's the clip. Now as you guys can see, the shop is a bit of a mess. Uh, I haven't cleaned it since about four or five projects ago. We did the mountainscapes, and so I'm just gonna go through, and I'm gonna clean up the shop. Now, I need to clean this place up because it's an absolute disaster area. So I figured what I would do is at least use this time to film and go over, I don't know, experiment with lighting and all that other stuff. As an example, we got these soft boxes, and it works really good, I think, for the talking head part of the uh, <clears throat> of the mountainscape video. And the other cool thing is, the audio should be really good. I have the mic right here, just out of frame. Um, I'm getting a new cord though, because I feel like there's some hissing in there. But otherwise, I think I think that the audio is a little bit better. Oh, I do know one thing. A really cool idea, I thought. <laughs> I think like, I don't know, that sounds, sounds pretty cool to me. So look forward to that in 2019. Speaking of soft boxes, we should probably put these in the storage side of the shop. Oh, not a whole lot of room in here. Close enough. Now that first transition, I think I think we pulled it off pretty good. Uh, the whole idea for us is that we would start at this side and we would whip all the way around and then magically I would appear. I know, I fooled everybody with that transition. And keep in mind, we've never done this before, so. Now, the cup, the cup was supposed to be a main character in our film the entire time. That's what we brainstormed. And so we tried to use that cup as sort of a magical device where when I did something with the cup, something weird would happen and then I go about my day totally not knowing. We got the timing of the lights 
and the cup to the mouth part down okay. I know that's not a transition, but it's just a part of what we wanted to experiment with. I have a remote for the lights. Some of you that watch the shop tour might have seen that. The pigtail that the remote is hooked to and the remote itself makes a very loud clicking sound. And it's really hard to mask that, especially in iMovie where I don't have a lot of good audio controls in post. So we tried, it's still kind of cute, but I don't think we pulled it off to the greatest that we could have. Okay, right? I mean, that, that was pretty good. You have to give me credit for that. So we had our spray can, our spray can became the character. We took that character and we brought it from one scene into the next scene and used that scene to make a transition in camera into still our story of cleaning up the shop by putting the circle cutting jug away. I do know one thing. Now I had to do some creative editing on this one. As you can see, the lights flicker, not at the same time the compressor turns on. A lot of folks probably won't pick that up. I did because I'm the one that did it. Um, again, it was a pushing button to, you know, we just, we weren't timed perfectly, right? Overall, I think we did a good job. Our heart was there. I just, I just don't think the cup and the lights and this, I just don't think it was meant to be on this particular project. Now this scene, I think worked out really well. If I wasn't such a goober, I had to stand pretty far away from the camera, but I had to get the entire softbox diffuser in the frame in order to really pull this off. And so I'm looking up and trying to swoop in front of the camera as I'm doing it. And the transition I think worked really well. Maybe I didn't pull it off as natural. Again, most people aren't probably gonna notice that. I noticed it because we were the ones that were actually doing it. Okay, now right here, I have to tell you guys, we were all super stoked when we saw this when we put it in post because this was Hayden's first time hand holding a camera and doing video. And so this was super cool. I can't believe how, how good he pulled this off. So with this, I wanted him to follow me out of the last scene and over to our new character, which becomes the planner. So to shoot this, he has to pan up into the ceiling. We realized that the color of the ceiling pretty closely matched the color of the sawdust that was still on the floor. So we scooped a bunch of sawdust up, we put it in front of the planer, and we had him then pan up from the sawdust and into the planer. We thought that composition was kind of cool. Wish I would have had a little bit different lens set up. That would have made it a little tighter in, but we, you know, we're working with what we have. So he's then gonna whip up. So you go from the up to the up this way, and the smoothness of it, and I'll be darned, but the color match was pretty good, and it swoop up, nailed it. For his first time holding a camera and doing video, I think he did super well. He was a little bit shaky on his walk to the, but seriously, first time, are you kidding me? Now this one we had to get a little creative on because we couldn't find a good transition between the side of the planer and into the next scene. And we still needed to sweep and kind of keep it short. We didn't want to have a 15 minute video of transition. So we decided moving into the broom would be a good idea. And the only thing that I could come up with is if I actually push the planer past the lens, revealing the broom, so on and so forth. And that last scene was we put a GoPro in the bucket and I simply dumped the sawdust on top of the GoPro. So thank you GoPro. Um, man, this was, this was fun. I know it's not a necessarily a woodworking thing. I mean, hey, we all gotta clean our shops, right? But being able to get him out here and do something different and something cool, I don't know. To me, that's priceless. It's something that we're both gonna remember for a real long time. So it's the same as building a project, right? We did a project. It took us three days. Yes, I've been wearing this for three days because I wanted to maintain my clothing consistency throughout, throughout each uh, scene. I don't know. If you guys are into film, if you guys are into any of that other stuff, I say give it a shot. You know, the other thing is, is that I've had a lot of people you know, over the last year or so at least, as I've started to get into video, ask, well, you know, what kind of equipment are you using? Or what are you doing for this? Or they say, you know, I can't, I don't have anything. I can't really, you do, you have a phone in your pocket. Hayden wants to get into YouTube himself. He kind of maybe wants to do a vlog. He's not really sure yet, but we're working on it. And that's what I told him. You have a phone, there's cheap, equipment, inexpensive equipment, I should say, that you can use to to do it. So the day of having excuses is kind of over, I think, with all the technology that we have uh, at our disposal all the time. So again, I'm using, uh, obviously, the Canon camera, but I'm using iMovie to do my edits. These are all done in 
camera. So except for the ramping up of speed, these are just hard cuts that I'm pasting together as I cut from this scene and move to this scene. You don't need a lot of post-production. If you do it right, all that stuff can be done on iMovie or uh, Adobe Rush on, on your smartphone where you could do it mobile and post it online somehow. So there is a way. All I'm saying is get creative, get out there and just start doing stuff. Oh, the other thing, cups. Okay, so this is from Swag Brewery. I got this cup for Christmas from my mother-in-law and this is probably the coolest gift I've gotten in a long time. I don't know, it just, it fits me. We wanted to use this as a prop. You'll probably see it a lot more um, in the videos. I just think it's the coolest thing. It's the funny little gag gifts that make uh, really good presents, but check these guys out. I'll leave links down in the description for these guys to their website and Amazon links. From what I understand, they sell out of this one quite a bit. Last we checked, they were sold out of it. They're on Instagram and whatnot, and I believe they are a family-owned company. So, like us, go take a look, see what else is on there. They got some pretty cool stuff on there. I know Christmas is over, so it's kind of bad timing, but it's definitely worth checking these guys out. I love this thing. Anyways, I think that wraps it up for me. Thanks so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next video. Cheers. What? What's going on guys? I'm Jody. This is Inspire Woodcraft and I can't do this with Hayden on the other side of the camera. Bye Hayden. <laughs> I can't concentrate with you back there. Okay, I gotta start over. Okay, where's your action or something like that? No action? You just throw it away? <laughs> okay, but maybe you do stop and step to the side a little bit. Okay. You're hot and sweaty now. <laughs> Whenever you, here, it's up to you. Do you want me to stare at you the whole time? <laughs> and do it. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna break a hip. <laughs> we'll go through it. Because those are the things where I can possibly use them at the end or something. Okay? Hey, what's going on guys? So that little disclaimer that I put in there uh, a couple times, the reason is is because we had some iMovie issues. Actually, I work the heck out of iMovie when I do my edits. I've got like 20 some videos on the channel right now and I've done them all on iMovie. Um, iMovie's a great product, especially if you're just starting out or if this isn't, you know, editing isn't a really serious thing to you, but I kind of max it out every time. It's always glitchy, it always has problems because I, I honestly just give it too much to do at one time. So it crashed. I crash course Adobe Premiere Pro in the last two days to get this edit out. So all the footage that was filmed was filmed before we knew that iMovie was going to tank on us. What I did in Premiere though is I tried to keep the edit as close to realistic as what I would have done in iMovie except for the text. Other than that everything else the, you know color grading corrections all that other stuff is the simple stuff I would have done in iMovie. I actually don't know how to use Premiere other than just to get this video out so there's a couple little hiccups here and there of course but I've never used Premiere. In fact I've always been scared to death of it. So anyways I think it's going to be better for our videos in the long run but I still stand by what I said in the video which is is use what you have get creative you know if you don't have the ability to make super cool transitions or whatever you're into then use the in-camera transitions you know get creative and try and think outside the box a little bit and that's really what this whole project and the video was all about the same applies to woodworking if you don't have if you don't have a joiner well, you can make a jig for the table saw. If you don't have a table saw, you can use your skill saw. I mean, there's there's ways to do things without having to have the biggest, best, shiniest thing out there. And I think that really is the point of these in-camera transitions is finding a way to be creative without having tech or without having what most people would call the right tools, if that makes sense. Anyways, I'll stop rambling. You guys know that I tend to do that. So I just wanted to throw this out there to clear my own conscience. We did edit in Premiere, we kept it as close to iMovie as possible, but iMovie, we just worked it to death. So anyways, we love you guys. Thanks as always for watching. We'll see you later.